Hello to another Let's Play with Xun. Today we are playing War Thunder and an historical battle against the Russians. I'm flying my Thunderbolt with the complete loadout with bombs and rockets. And yes, <laughs> uh, I really enjoy War Thunder so far. Um, the new economy is something, oh well, I don't agree with it, but be beside that last patch which um, changed the economy to something I don't agree with, the game is awesome. Um, now the last patch also added um, that every nation is uh, in historic battle all the time. Which means pretty much that now you're not restricted to only one or two countries all the time, but can play whenever and whatever you want. Um, also, a thing to note is that the time, the waiting time until to get into a battle, seems to have decreased extremely, at least for level nine and ten, which I'm flying right now. I'm uh, skipping ahead a little bit um, because until I get to A <laughs> it takes a while uh, with nothing happening so skipping now so we have first enemy contact um, you see it below at A <coughs> I'm thinking to myself, okay, do I engage those or do I get rid of my bombs first and decide, okay, I don't want to get into a dogfight with the Jock. The Jock is slow. Slow, 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 slow. <laughs> and you can't turn very well. So what it has going for it is the um, yeah, ridiculous bomb load for, for a fighter and also um, it's pretty tough. It, it's not like it's going to save your life, but um, you can take some more hits than other planes. Um, so currently I'm checking that no one is coming up to meet me. And I really wished I had recorded this game live, but uh, you, n you never know when, when you're <laughs> going to have a good game. And also, um, I'm running fraps, which means that even if I um, cut and only uh, record what is good, I'm giving, getting like 600 or 900 gigabyte of, of raw data, which is uh, pretty much a pain. So now I'm, I'm turning, I'm trying to destroy the bridge. Um, the enemy already destroyed our bridge, so this means our tanks can't get over it, but have to take the long way. So now I'm thinking about repaying them in kind. Um, also, uh, you don't get target markers for bombs um, in historic battles, so I wanted to make sure uh, to, to also use the rockets. Now that Ishak was was a flyby shot, I'm thinking like, oh, is he going to follow me? No, nope, he's not. And then I'm uh, getting some flak fire from from behind. But um, I'm using the energy um, I got from diving on the bridge to to gain some altitude and some uh, distance between me and the enemy before turning and engaging once more. I think that it's... maybe it's me, but uh, I find it kind of sad that um, destroying ground targets with fighters and attack crafts is a lot easier than with bombers. Uh, not not because of I don't know, like the bomb side, which seems a little skittish today, 
Um, I like dropping uh, six bombs on the street with a car convoy and only four of them hit and um, to go somewhere but nowhere near the uh, target marker. Um, but it's also you're a lot faster, you get there in time before anyone has taken out the easy targets and so far in historical battle there are a lot more moving targets and hitting moving targets from four or five kilometers up is pretty hard engaging the lag totally missing i was debating if i uh, try to get uh, altitude but um i was so no my my friend there is in trouble and the lag is probably going for him and not for me No way I can turn with him. Um, the lack went down because the, the damage to his wing was obviously too high uh, to keep maneuvering at such low altitude. So the bridge killed, one car killed, then now one air kill, um, regaining some altitude and power. Um, I'm skipping ahead a little bit again, um, the next attack run I will do is uh, I think a minute away, so skipping. So now I'm going to engage um, this lone um, IL-2 as far as I remember. I'm having the energy advantage uh, even if he's going for um, the ground target. Um, I think we can get him before he makes t takes does too much damage. Yeah, and t t missing horrible again. I really need to work on my aim in historic battles. Um, I, I feel like hitting people going in a straight line uh, very very hard. If, if they start to turn, then you can shoot them down easy. So if, if you are chased in, in a historic battle, uh, don't try to, to make very swift right maneuver or turn maneuvers if you don't know that you are able to outturn your opponent. Um, because it makes you a very, very easy target and a large, large target too. So I'm hitting him, but his tail gunner is hitting me too. Um, my engine is slightly hit, so um, it's not critical, but as you can see by the smoke, um, I was hit. And I'm debating if I go and uh, land right away or not. So that's air kill number two. Um, I'm skipping ahead a little bit again. Um, historic battles is a lot about <laughs> flying around, doing nothing, waiting for the right opportunity, but you don't have to suffer through this. So, um, I'm currently um, near the base and going to land now. My engine has turned uh, to a deep red. And also, um, as you can see, my, my left wing took some damage. Nothing nothing very bad, but it makes uh, steering a little harder as well. As you can see, there are some marks on my tail. Um, somehow I missed one kill. Um, so before I landed here, um, there, there were three air kills. I, I don't know. Mayhap it was that IL-2 which uh, was going down into the water. Um, in the end statistic I got 3 air kills and 5 crown target kills. So as you can see my flaps are damaged, the engine is out now. Um, so I probably don't have a second attempt <laughs> to land and I'm trying to plead speed here because I'm so too fast.
and at this point I'm the only one of our team left so uh, not a very good position the enemy has a Yak-9 and two IL-2s left um, well I'm, I'm not not thinking I'm going to win here but I'm thinking oh, mayhap I can get one more kill um, so I'm, I'm stopping repairing um, getting my bombs back thinking oh, mayhap I'm lucky and they are um, not yet uh, repaired or are low on ammunition so I'm, I'm speeding this up a little repaired rising and now I, I have a real problem um, as you see in a second I spot their uh, Yak-90 and he's higher than I am so I'm really screwed because uh, he has altitude advantage he can outturn me and the first thing I do is I drop my bombs. I, I try to, to get as light as possible, but there's, there's no way I can win in a turn fight. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, screw it. I'm going to dive. I'm going to pick up as much speed as I can and hope to, uh, to lose him. But actually, he's faster in a dive than I am. Which I find very surprising considering how heavy the Thunderbolt is and what a big engine it has. Um, as you can see I also don't try to, to make sharp turns and expose my wings to him but instead doing doing small corrections. Now I'm, I'm dropping my flaps, turning down the engine and try to make him overshoot. It almost, almost works but, but you realize what I'm trying to do and does the same. So we are back to step one, <laughs> having a Yak-90 behind me and not able to get him off my tail. So I'm thinking like, oh, please let me get to my airfield, let me get me into the cover of the um, of the flag. And, and let's hope that Yak-90 with his uh, 30 shoots for his, um, for his um, um, 37 millimeter cannon misses me, but yeah. As you can see, uh, request denied, and I take a bath. I'm showing what I made out of it. Economy, defeat in Korea, now here. Um, it, it's not spectacular, but um, even after a refill it's 41k uh, of lions and 25k of EXP. That's pretty neat. A thing that isn't very neat is that that's one day ago and still I have one day and 70 hours to go for the automatic repair or I could pay 13k of lions to repair the Thunderbolt. Um, repair cost is a little extraordinary but I'm not the first one to complain about that so you probably already know. Okay, have a nice day and see you. Bye bye.